Today, we will be ranking every single stratagem in Helldivers 2 from best to worst, starting off with the 500 kg bomb. This is great for taking down Bile Titans and big groups of enemies. I would actually put this in S tier just because while you only get one use, uh, the reload time on the Eagle is pretty quick and one, if you get the upgrade for the Eagle, you can get two uses and it does so much damage. It's really good at taking down Bile Titans and it has a big area of effect as well. It also just feels awesome to use. Next, we have the Eagle Airstrike. It does a ton of damage. It's really good at closing nests. It has a pretty big area of effect, but not so big that it's like always killing your enemies. And again, you get two uses with it, three if you have the upgrade, and it has a pretty low cooldown since the Eagle reloads pretty fast. So I put that in A tier, really, really strong. I definitely suggest using it. Cluster Bomb is pretty close. I really enjoy using it, especially because you get four uses within like eight second cooldown. It does a lot of damage. I don't think it closes nests, so correct me if I'm wrong. And, but it's still really, really strong, and it's a close second behind the Eagle Airstrike. I really like this, especially you can get five total uses with that. That's so much damage compared to like everything else, and it has a big area of effect as well. The Orbital Railgun is sort of niche. It's really good for taking down like big stuff like Bile Titans and tanks and stuff like that, but you only get one use with it, so I, I'd actually put in C tier. I was almost going to put in B tier, but um, just because you don't get that many uses and it has a long cooldown, I'm going to put it into C. It does like one shot Bile Titans, but if you're on the higher difficulties and there's a lot of enemies, um, it can just be rough to use. It, the one thing it can be useful for is some like very specific missions where you just need to kill like a single Bile Titan. You can take it out pretty quickly with that. Next, we have the Eagle Strafing Run. This is like decent when you're starting out, but honestly, there are so much, so many better shy gems that I could suggest. So I would put this in D tier. It's not quite F, it's not useless, but um, I wouldn't pick it over anything else really. This is the Orbital Walking Barrage. It's definitely worse than the rail, like the rail gun. It's not too bad, but um, you know, you can like take out a uh, nest, I'm pretty sure with it. And it's decent, but it has a long cooldown and it's just not great. This is the Gatling Barrage. I'd say it's slightly better actually no it, it, it's about even with the eagle airstrike the eagle airstrike has less of a cooldown um but th this is like uh it has a low cooldown too so it's pretty decent and it shoots for a while i might even put it above the eagle uh, air strafing and they're, they're pretty close though next we have the gas strike with the orbital honestly it's like decent i i, I would put it into either d or f tier though they're just better things to choose you have the EMS strike. It doesn't kill enemies. It's going into F tier. There are why get a stratagem that doesn't kill enemies when you can get one that does. That goes for the Eagle Smoke and the Orbital Smoke as well. Basically all F tier. I wouldn't choose them over something that actually kills the enemies. It's just not worth it unless you're doing like some weird stealth run with the smoke. Um, I, I just wouldn't use those. Even the gas strike might go down there as well because you know the enemies have to stay in the gas strike to take damage. So next we have the air burst. Um, it's slightly better, but I'd say that like the strafe and the gathering is better than the air burst and it's just not that great. The orbital laser, however, this is amazing. I've actually been running this a lot. I'm going to throw that into S tier. It takes out huge groups of enemies. Um, really, really strong. Definitely would suggest trying it out if you haven't. Um, it takes out bile titans pretty quickly. It can take out my multiple bile titans if you're also shooting them with like the railgun. So I would put that up there. It's really, really strong. Try it out. This is the orbital precision strike. Cooldown's not too bad. Um, you know, it's the one that everyone starts with. It's decent. It's not great. It's definitely worse than like the Eagles and stuff, but um, I would probably put it right there. Uh, maybe even behind the Gatling Barrage. We could move the Gatling Barrage up there. I think that makes more sense, honestly. So next we have the 380 Rocket Pods. These are awful because they'll kill your teammates and it, it it's just not accurate at all. I think they need to close how it, like inaccurate it is. I feel like when I throw it down on enemies, it doesn't kill them because it just misses them and hits my teammates. Same with the 120. Both of those, like, they're just so inaccurate. They need to have a smaller radius that they can land in, and I'll throw it, like, so far away, and it'll still kill my, kill my teammates. We have the Eagle Napalm next. It's decent. Again, all the Eagles are, like, pretty good, and this one does a fair amount of damage as well, but it's not as good as the Cluster Strike or the Eagle uh, Air Strike uh, because it doesn't close nests and stuff like that. So I'd put it, like, into B tier. It, it's decent. Um, you know, maybe that can go up to B tier, and that would go right there. Something like that. Then we have the 110 rocket pods. I don't know. I haven't had any luck with them. If you've had luck with them, let me know. But I feel like whenever I use them, they literally don't kill anyone. So it may just be me, but uh, I know they like they're supposed to focus the biggest thing. So maybe they're strong, but I haven't had any luck with them focusing it. Maybe I'm throwing them too far away. But honestly, it's felt pretty bad using that. So moving on to our support weapons, we have the stalwart rifle uh, or machine gun. It's pretty good actually. It has a lot of ammo. Uh, we're going to sort of rate these against like themselves instead of against all the orbitals because generally you want at least one support weapon. 
But yeah, the stalwart's decent when you're starting out. I'd probably put it into a C tier overall. It's not awful, but it's definitely not the best. This is the auto cannon. This is straight up S tier, especially if you don't have other stuff unlocked yet. Um, it can close nests. It's really strong, does a lot of damage, kills chargers. Um, you know, you gotta be accurate with it and shoot the head and stuff, but really, really strong. The only downside to it is you do need a backpack, which is unfortunate. So this is the shield generator. So some people love this, but honestly, unless you're fighting against the automatons and you know, you're, you're just, they're like some niche uses, but it doesn't kill the enemy. So I'm throwing it down there, honestly. Um, I think there are much better things that you can go. And I think it's just better instead of going defensive, it's always better to go offensive and just choose things that'll kill the enemy versus like choosing things that'll defend you. So next you have the railgun. This is flat out S tier. It's better than the auto cannon. It's probably one of the best strat gems in the game. It does so much damage, especially in unsafe mode, and it won't kill you unless you go all the way to the top on unsafe mode. Um, and it, you know, you can like three shot chargers with it. I don't know how many bio titan shots it takes, but it really doesn't take that much. The only reason I say I don't know is usually I have like an orbital strike or an orbital laser going down on the bio titan at the same time. So it'll take like two to three shots with a railgun, but that's after how much damage is the bio titans taken from orbitals and eagles and stuff like that. Next, the laser honestly is pretty trash. Um, it doesn't feel that effective. I'd probably take the stalwart over it, honestly. Um, some people may like it. It looks cool, but I, I don't like it very much. The arc throw is decent just because it doesn't run out of ammo, um, but its range feels pretty bad. I think it feels a lot better against the terminants than the automatons, but that may just be me. Next, we have the guard dog. Honestly, this is pretty bad, especially compared the, to the other strat gems you can use. I'll put it into D tier. Um, I wouldn't ever run it, especially like compared to the other guard dog, which we'll get to, but it's really not that good. So moving on to the spear, this is just glitchy right now. Once they fix it, it might be better, but I wouldn't use it. The targeting like takes way too long and it doesn't really seem to kill much. So I would not use that. The grenade launcher, however, is very strong. I'd put it into A tier, maybe even S tier. Um, you know, it's pretty close to the auto cannon. And the nice thing about the grenade launcher, actually, I'll put it above the auto cannon. So the nice thing about the grenade launcher is you don't need a backpack with it. And if you run a supply pack, if you press five, you can actually reload the grenade launcher from your own supply pack. So you can solo a lot of content with the grenade launcher. And I'd say it is slightly better than an auto cannon because of that. Um, it's especially strong again when you have a supply pack and can resupply it yourself because it doesn't actually have that many bullets, but it does have a really high rate of fire. It can close nests, uh, terminated nests and stuff like that. So I definitely would suggest using it. It does feel very strong. Next, we have the machine gun, the thing that everyone starts with. It's actually really strong. I put it into A tier, especially if you change the RPM on it by holding down R. Uh, you can change it to shoot like at 900 rounds per minute, and it, it does feel really strong. It's pretty good at taking down chargers and stuff if you've knocked an armor plate off of them. So I would definitely suggest running it, like if, especially when you're starting out. And you know, these are definitely better, but when you're starting out, machine gun really, really good. Next, we have the ballistic shield this is defensive, so we're throwing it down there. Then we have the support pack. This is again S tier because you can reload your grenade launcher, you can reload your allies, you can reload your ra railgun. Really, really strong. Again, the railgun's nice because you don't need a backpack either. The flamethrower is decent. I'd say it's like B tier, um, probably above the arc thrower. It's really good against the terminids. It's less good against the automatons. Uh, that's just what it feels like, but it does burn the ground. And if you get used to using it, it can feel really strong. I know some people swear by it, so we'll throw it there. So in my last tier list video, I made a video where I just uh, did a tier list over the support weapons. Now we're doing it over all of the strat gems. I put this guard dog rover in like basically the bottom tier because it kept team killing me. Since then I've used it more and it hasn't been killing me as many times. I think I just got really unlucky. I don't know if I put it into S tier. A lot of people swear by it. So most people put it S tier. I'll put it like high A tier. Okay. It is really nice, especially against the Terminids. It will kill so many of the little guys so you can focus on the big ones. Um, and, you know, I think I just got really unlucky. So we'll put it into high A tier. Um, but, it, you know, if it is, kill I, I think they should change it so it doesn't team kill you. If it, if it like starts aiming at you or if it has to aim through you to get to the enemy, it should like it shouldn't shoot. Uh, so that would be a nice quality of life change they could add to that. Next, we have the recoilless rifle. This is pretty good if you have a teammate who can reload it for you, but if you don't, it's a little bit rough. I'd say it's like A tier above the machine gun. It's really good for taking down uh, like enemy dropships and nests and you know just big enemies. Uh, but it you need a you really need a teammate, otherwise it has a pretty long reload. Uh, but it is better than like the machine gun and stuff. Next, the jetpack. So a lot of people think it's, think it's trash. I think it's actually better than you think it is because you can put it on, you can use it to get onto like slopes and stuff where the enemy can't reach you. Um, I wouldn't take it. I really don't take it over my other stratagems now, but I think it can be good, especially if you're playing solo to run away from the enemy and get into like spots where the enemy can't really reach you. So I'll put it into probably high B tier. I, I wouldn't take it over this stuff. 
uh, but it, it is pretty decent. So moving on to the anti-material rifle, this is a pretty good uh, gun. It does a lot of damage, and uh, I think it goes through most armor. I would take it over the machine gun, but I don't think I'd take it over a recoilless rifle, depending on whether you have a teammate to reload you. If you don't, I might take it there. Uh, I don't use it that much because I just honestly always use the railgun, but it is a decent choice if you don't have the railgun unlocked. And finally, we have the expendable anti-tank. This is really strong. I wouldn't say it's as good as the recoilless rifle because uh, you only get two of them and it's expendable, so you only get two shots with it, but it is pretty decent and it can be good for taking down big enemies. It honestly may be worse than the machine gun, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know. It, it's sort of in between. It depends what you're doing. It depends on... Uh, the operation that you're working or the mission that you're working on So next this is the shield generator again. I have a thing against the defense I don't think it's that good The only use for it is like if you're against the automatons and even then it's like why use that when you could use something else So again going into F tier EMS mortar that's S tier it slows the enemies down It shoots so many times really really strong highly suggest using it especially on the defense missions is so nice so strong uh, Really 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 good uh, turret Next, the rocket also goes up there. It's really good at taking down uh, like the drop ships. It's good at taking down tanks. Uh, it has a lot of ammo in it, really strong as well. This is the Gatling turret. I'd say it's probably like B tier, high B tier. Um, I would take it over like the flamethrower or the arc thrower, but it's not like the best. Um, and there, these are definitely better. It's just good like when you're starting out. This is the Tesla Tower. I haven't had luck with it. It seems like it has a really short range. So I'm throwing into basically the bottom of C tier. Um, I, I don't like it that much. And it, it its range just doesn't feel usable when it's compared to the other turrets. Mortar is up here as well. Really, really strong, except for the part where it will kill your teammates if they're close to the enemy. Um, but you know, if you have like four mortars going down on a nest or something, it absolutely destroys the enemy. Mines, again, they're sort of defensive. They don't move with you and they can't shoot, so I'm putting them into F tier. The same with the incendiary mines. They can be good for like defense stuff, but why would you, again, why would you ever run those when you can run like an airstrike or a turret that actually shoots this stuff from a distance? I just don't see the point in using them. So let me know if you like really enjoy using them and why, but I don't really like them. Machine gun turret, it's okay. It's not as good as like the Gatling or any of these, but when you're starting out, it can be strong. I'd say it's stronger than that. Maybe even bottom of B tier or like high C tier. Then we have the auto cannon turret. This is also really strong. Again, these are like the four, like the four uh, really good turrets. I would say that this is maybe again above the EMS unless you're doing like very specific things. Um, even above the mortar just because it has this has the longest range of any turret so you can put this down to shoot at the enemy from far away then we have the heavy machine gun in placement our last turret and our last stratagem on the tier list it you know it's fine i haven't used it that much but it does seem to have pretty good uh penetrating power but my point is is if you're using this you can't shoot your gun so honestly any of these are a better choice just because you these shoot while you're also able to shoot your primary weapon or your support weapon so i'd put this down here maybe even like down here uh, i i think that it, there are much better choices just because other choices will shoot while you're also able to shoot your gun so this is the final tier list i hope y'all enjoyed if you want to connect with me my links are in the description below if you disagree agree let me know in the comments below these are my opinions it's not like objectively correct so anyways i hope y'all enjoyed good luck getting into the servers this week and i'll see you next time thanks for watching y'all